This is Tristan Rice. I'm recording my poi for the Sunflower District Tournament. The problem is I still call myself a woman. And every time the word falls from my mouth, it feels like a bar of soap slipping through my fingers. Hi, I'm Jack and I'm transgender. Now, let me take a stab at some of the thoughts that are probably running through your head right now. I knew as soon as Miss Hansen said, boys on that side of the gym, girls on that side. And I knew that Eddie would be like, Mari, you go on that side cause you a dyke. Which is stupid because dyke means lesbians and lesbians are girls and I'm just trying to ignore him, play us like pawns and relentlessly confined into living up to gender roles and having absent minds. I call myself a woman and it feels like an accident, like a six car pileup right outside city limits. Like you were so close to home. You were so close. You could have been exactly what they wanted you to be when they wrapped you in a pink blanket when the doctor said, girl, and they were so happy. Whether or not you noticed it, when you first saw me, you probably thought, oh, she's a girl. And I don't think you did notice this. In fact, I don't even think you did it on purpose because in our society, we have a tendency to label people within the gender binary, male and female. But for myself, as well as hundreds of thousands of other kids, teens and adults, we don't fall in the gender binary. Take me for example, I'm gender fluid, which means on any given day, my gender will go, you're the other one now, which makes packing for vacations a big hassle but that's a small scale issue. The bigger issue is that this obsession with the gender binary forces us to be people we aren't, forces us to act in ways that just aren't us, to be people we were never meant to be. So, featuring the article, it's not how you feel, it's how I feel. Four teens explain why they reject the Gender Binary by Adrini Matti, and with the pros, Mari by Philip Dawkins and How to Talk and Listen to Transgender People by Jackson Bird, and with the poetry, Questions for God or Just Anyone Who's Listening by Ash Vernon and Little Game by Miss Benny. Beyond the Pink and Blue, because our culture's obsession with the gender binary has hurt us far more than it could ever help us. Transgender, wait, does that mean they're actually a man or actually a woman? Huh, I wonder if they've had the surgery yet. My friend's daughter is transgender. I wonder if they know each other. I don't know how I first came to identify as non-binary. Not so much as I came to identify as not female first. And then Miss Hansen is like, that's inappropriate, Eddie. And like, you can't say that about people. And I'm just like, please shut up. Please stop calling attention to me. And everyone is looking at me. My problem is my gender is a language I cannot speak yet. I look down at my body and I think of how many things I would be willing to give up so that I could look so long, so flat, so sharp, and so boy. And not just because the gender I was assigned at birth mismatches the one I actually am. Being trans is awkward because everyone else gets awkward when they're around me. People who support me full heartedly and all other trans people are often so afraid to say the wrong thing. So scared not to know what they think they should know that they never ask. Hush boy, oh hush boy, don't say a word. Throw on the jersey and no one gets hurt. Something changed. I don't know what it was. 
I was like, I hate girly things. I hate the color pink. And then I thought, what if I'm a boy? But no, that's not me. But my curves are not something I am ready to be divorced of yet. I look down at my body and I think, no, I will not abandon you. Not yet. Not again. I, not like the rest of them. I think, girl. I think, girl. I think. So I pushed him to make it be over, you know? I didn't want to hurt him. Oh my God. If I had wanted to hurt him, he would be hurt. But then Eddie starts crying and everyone is staring at me and I can hear what they're thinking, but that's not me. I quickly realized so many people think physical transition means just one thing, the surgery. Gender roles impose control and deceive progressive times. Welcome to the land of the broken mind. Girl, you have been unwanted in so many hands, and I cannot turn traitor to my own powder pink. I cannot bleed the woman out of my lungs. I have tried, and she does not go easy. Instead, I wear a woman like a coat, two sizes too small. It doesn't fit anymore, but it smells like home. What do you do when you're given the choice between two costumes and neither of them has enough elbow room? I didn't know at all what I was experiencing or doing until I had the internet give me a word to describe it. Watching videos about what it meant to be non-binary. Now, listen, if there were one magical surgery that could turn me into a tall, muscular, societally perfect image of a man overnight, I'd sign up in a heartbeat. But unfortunately, it's not that simple because they're expensive and health insurance is only just beginning to cover them. Instead, the first step for a trans person seeking physical transition is usually hormone replacement therapy. So why does everyone keep pointing at me and calling me boy names and like, I don't even look at people anymore because I'm too scared they'll see and they'll know. I don't want to be picked on or picked out or picked for anything. I just want to be left alone. Just leave me alone. What do you do when the word woman isn't wrong? The word woman is the only one that shares all of the violence that's been done to you for daring to look so sweet. Hush girl, hush girl, just bat your eyes, play our little game. But one day in GSA in freshman high school, I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do this thing and see if it feels better. Play our little game. There's no distinct point in a trans person's physical transition out of which they become their true gender. As soon as they give you your new name and pronouns, that's when you start using them. Play our little game. What do you do when the word woman isn't wrong? It's just not the whole story. And you don't have a word for your story. Play our little game. So that's why I pushed him. <laughs> to make it be over, you know? So can I please just get in trouble and then it's just, it's over. I just want it to be over. Please, please make it be over. Please play our little game. The truth is we trans people are way more scared of you than you are of us. Because being trans means a daily onslaught of these myths and min misconceptions. And I have it pretty easy. I'm a white able-bodied guy sitting nearly at the peak of privilege for non-binary people, for trans women, for trans people of color, it's so much harder. Play our little game. The first time someone, not a great friend, just an acquaintance used my pronouns, I almost cried. Play our little game. Maybe someday when I say, hi, I'm Jack and I'm transgender, the only response I'll get in return is, hi, nice to meet you. Won't you play with me? 
At the end of the day, I have no quarrel with my body, only the things everyone else seems to assign to it, only these words that feel so useless up against the person I have worked so hard to love. What I want to know is, am I allowed to hold a woman at arm's length and love it like my favorite dress? Am I allowed to put it down when it becomes too much to carry? Thank you.